Hey guys, Random Razor here. How's it going, guys? Uh, I just want to give you guys a final update video on that waterlogged MacBook Pro I had. Uh, for those of you who missed those couple of videos I made, um, brief, brief history: a few days ago, I have a MacBook Pro. I was watching a few videos in front of it. I was also eating in front of it. Some chicken, some rice, and some soy sauce to dip the chicken in. That was actually a pretty good meal. But uh, anyways, um. Uh, I don't know how, but my arm, my hand, I don't know what, just knocked the bowl of soy sauce onto the MacBook and the soy sauce spilled over the keyboard. And um, at that point, I was pretty much screwed. But uh, I turned it off, uh, unplugged it, flipped it upside down, tried to wipe and absorb most of that soy sauce onto a cloth as much as possible. And um, as you guys saw in the other couple of videos, once that stuff got in, it just soaked right in the keys, and I was pretty much screwed. But, um, you know, unlike water, this stuff is, would not really evaporate very well, and when it does, it would just, you know, leave all the sticky stuff. And my keyboard smelled like soy sauce, so um, I was pretty much screwed. Um, a few couple days later, um, I fired up the MacBook discovered uh, the back of the keyboard was really screwed like half of it was on half of it was off and some of the lights were dim some of them were extremely bright and uh, pretty much all the keys worked some of them weren't as responsive as they originally were of course uh, like for example the Y button if you guys saw in the other video uh, you had to kinda really press it down to uh, you know make it work but um, you know I didn't want to go through school of course with a you know a screwed up keyboard like that, dysfunctional keyboard you could say but um, so anyways I was pretty much out of options at that point and uh, you know since warranty does not cover accidental damage especially water damage um, there wasn't really anything I can do so I got prices for a new keyboard on the MacBook which was $300 from Best Buy and I think someone did suggest you can get an accidental plan or some at Best Buy but we don't have anything like that in Canada at least if that, not that I know of uh, Apple will probably be similar to that and um, you know, I was really out of options. Just either buy a new keyboard, 300 bucks, or um, buy a whole new laptop, either a MacBook or a cheaper laptop, a cheaper Windows laptop. Sorry, because I'm pretty sure the cheapest MacBook was only hundred thousand dollars. Sorry. So um, decided to do one last thing before I move on to one of those options, and that is to take it back to Best Buy and see what they have to say about it. So. Um, went, packed it all up, cleaned it up as best I could, sprayed some tangerine orange scent onto the keyboard because I didn't want to smell like soy sauce or the keyboard and um, uh, told them the back of the keyboard was acting up and uh, the guy's like, oh, all right, well, looked at the receipt and apparently uh, there's only a 14 day return policy for computers so I was like, I think it was like 5 or 8 days uh, after that and uh, he said he's going to let me talk to the original person who sold me the MacBook. So he comes over and like, oh, it's him again. And uh, he's like, yeah, what's the problem? I told him back the keyboard's really screwed up. And, uh, you know, came home one night and said it was screwed up. Yeah, I know I'm lying here. Or at least I'm telling you guys that I'm lying here. But um, said something was screwed up. And uh, he's like, all right. Um, and I showed him the back of the keyboard. And he saw the problem. And he's like, all right, well... I don't know, he was, he was a Pakistani person, I think, you know, somewhere around there, but uh, he's like, you you look like a a nice young lad or something like that, wearing a hat, glasses or something, you know, stuff like that, and uh, he didn't even take the MacBook to the technicians or anything, he just said, uh, hold on a second, and he went to the back, he grabbed me a brand new 13-inch, same model, MacBook Pro box, and I'm just like, are you serious? Like, in my head, of course, and, um... He packed up the old one and told him to go to customer service and he'll go through the exchange and he understands that uh, make an exception for the uh, 14 day even though I was a little bit over but um, and he just left and I dealt with customer service through exchange and um, I did have the opportunity to upgrade to the 15 inch like pay the extra money but right, frankly I didn't really, really want to pay more money for a computer than what I really need you know six hundred dollars more for the 13 or over for for the 15 inch sorry over the 13 inch but uh, anyways as you guys can see here um, I had one lucky son of a bitch and um, I'm really surprised that I got this like quite frankly a brand new 13.3 inch base model MacBook Pro exactly the same one I had before uh, 
2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 dual processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 250 gigabyte hard drive, all the same shit that came with the other, uh, well, on my other MacBook. But uh, as you can see, it's still sealed. And um, yeah, I am one lucky son of a bitch. I'm just, holy crap. Oh, I am just lucky. And uh, anyways, of course, let's unbox this thing. And uh, for those of you watching just to see the unboxing, well, I'm sorry if you guys are kind of bored with that video, but um, that's what happened. And do I suggest lying? No, but um, just let just make this uh, just to let you guys know. Never ever leave a beverage, li some kind of liquid near your MacBook or laptop or any other electrical device because if you screw it up you're gonna pay for it and you're gonna feel like shit like I did and I do not recommend going through that and um, quite frankly if that happens to you I really doubt you end up with the results I did but um, you know what just prevent it that's all I can say so anyways let's unbox this thing and I really wish they have a tripod or not tripod tripod for the iPhone, because I can't really do this with one hand, because it's really strong tape. There's got to be an easy way to do this. Seal has been broken. Alright. Let's make sure this is actually brand new. Pop her open. And there we go, guys. Foam padding on the top. Here we go, we got a brand new MacBook Pro, untouched, well, except for the people at the factory who made this, but uh, here's the pull tab here, and wow, I cannot believe they did this, brand new MacBook Pro, this is not refurbished, this is brand smacking new, still got the seal on the back, we'll just put this off to the side, and we got the same shit that we got on the other one, of course, the uh, Extension power cable, MagSafe power adapter, 60 watts I think, with the magnetic connector of course, and a little clip on thing, and of course, the big power adapter as well. And then the documentation, it's probably, well of course it's going to be the same. Same documentation, everything max, just your manual, it tells you, you know, what to do, what not to do, and make sure, it'll probably tell you not to put anything liquid near a tube, I betcha. Got the cleaning cloth, and we got the everything else, which should be just stickers and a CD. So we got stickers, got a warranty guide. And we got the two restore discs for the OS and the applications. And now, let's fire the MacBook itself up. Put this over. And, yeah, we'll just move the box up here. Then put the MacBook here. Huh. And I don't think... Ah, crap, I can't open this with the packaging on. Alright, um, just a second, guys. Just trying to figure out how to do this with one hand. So we're going to need to strip this off. There has to be an easier way to do this. What am I doing? Oh, here we go. Seal has been broken. Take this part off. Flip her over. Gently set her down. Open her up. And put the packaging off to the side. Put the keyboard. I don't know, foam padding. Here we go, guys. Brand new, beautiful 13.3 inch MacBook Pro. Just fire up. It even smells brand new because, well, of course it is brand new.
And we'll just wait for it to start up. So here we are. Brand new undamaged keyboard. Why am I happy about that? And if I'm right, we're going to see some uh, video. Oh, we got to select language first. All right, we want English, of course. So you can raise the volume. Never thought I'd see this again. Alright, so that's, uh, I guess that's pretty much it guys, the rest of this is just um, setting it up and, uh, what, Canadian of course. No, I don't own a Mac. Well, I did before, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Here you go guys, we've got a beautiful backlit, let's fire this all the way up. And let's make sure. Got a beautiful backlit keyboard, which uh, is not screwed up or anything like that, which is uh, I'm extremely happy about, of course. And a fully functional keyboard as well. And um, let's see, wireless network. I think I pressed it. All right, I guess it's just loading. Anyways, guys, that's uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, ask away. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And that is the final update on my waterlogged MacBook Pro. And also a new unboxing video of a 13.3-inch MacBook Pro. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Uh, peace.